Welcome back to another drive time with Steven. I think I might be starting to get sick again, which sucks. And I don't think it's very fair because I just got over being sick a few weeks ago. Could be the coronavirus. Stay tuned. Um, I don't think it's the coronavirus. I'm joking. Anyways, um, I just was listening to uh, some guys I listen to on the way into work. Talk, talk guys. And they were touching on this article out of the dispatch. So I'm going to read this today. Uh, but it just it got my blood boiling because it was talking about uh, these diversity bias teams that are in colleges right now, which basically are like little um, like like we, we make fun of like the hall monitor Nazis that, you know, like uh, um, that uh, uh, are watching over us and reporting back to the authorities what we think and say. There's literally a group dedicated in, in, in some of these colleges. And again, I'm going to touch on this tonight when I do a live stream. Live stream tonight, though. We are going to live stream tonight probably around 7 or 8. Could change. Uh, I want to touch on this article. But it basically is talking about how these groups have been formed in school to where you can go and report when somebody says something mean. Somebody says something off color. Somebody says something you don't agree with. You're out drinking some beers with your friends. A group of people go out for dinner and you make some joke or you make an off color comment or you offend <coughs> Un in, in, from the littlest offense to a straight up offense unintentionally. You can then get a call from the secret, uh, the, the, the secret uh, uh, feelings and speech Gestapo that said that there was a report that was turned in on you and that you offended X, Y, and Z and you said this during your time out or, you know, during your guys' you know, little expedition, whatever. You know, your time out. When, when you went out to get some food or, hell, it could be when you were in class or it could have been in the dorms. It's literally they're training people, A, I haven't collected all my thoughts on this, but A, they're training people to be little snitches, to literally be, and they've been doing that for a while. But they're, they're emphasizing how easy it is to get your feelings hurt and that you should you should always be concerned about um, getting your feelings hurt and that you should look for ways to get your feelings hurt. Let's, keep, let's dedicate an actual department that takes reports on these things. And then these Gestapos will come knocking on your door and ask you, did you say X, Y, and Z? And you can have a mock trial done on you where these people that heard you say this... Um, can testify against you if you are if you are found to be guilty of this it goes on your permanent record which can affect your grad school which can affect your job hiring later on uh it goes on your permanent record if you say something that offends some other snowflake some other little little uh, fluffy pretty delicate snowflake if you say anything that hurts their feelings or they deem to be politically incorrect, not efficiently, sufficiently woke enough, you can have that on your personal record. And they pretend like they're doing this because they're loving people and they want to be caring and they care about the indigenous people and they care about the black people and they care about the gays and the L's and the G's and the T's. Of course, that's another fun, funny little thing that the, uh, the T's don't like the L's and the G's anymore. The T's are mad and think that the L's and the G's are bigots because they like biologically homo sex. They don't like fake biological homo sex because then it's basically just heterosex, just not as cool. Anyways, not that I think homosexuality is cool, but they obviously think homosexuality is cool. They wouldn't do it. You mean what I know. At any rate, this school, and I am going to read the article later, it's from the dispatch, um, about this is how our fifis are getting hurt. And then we're also going to touch on the little thing I just read, or I just talked about, the L's and the G's getting in trouble with the T's. It's a snake that eats itself. It's like that snake that eats its own tail, man. And again, not in a cool way or in a weird, not in their cool way, not in a weird way. Um, anyways. Just something that I, I just, when will this craziness stop? These people act like they're doing this because they're loving and they care about people. But do you realize 
that love is not easily offended. These people that, 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 that support this wokeness are the most unloving people you will ever see, you will ever know, and you will ever be around. You, they are the most unloving people. And, and it's, and it's, it's, you know, it's evidenced by the times you're around them. And they're just like, man, that person is terrible to be around. Oh man, they are so fake. And they're the fakest people you can ever be around. They act like they're so real, man. We're woke. We care. You can't say that. That hurts people's feelings. Love isn't easily offended. You snowflakes. And I don't like that term because it's gotten so much use and it's just, it's used as such a, a pejorative now where it's just like, oh, snowflake, you're just so not woke. Blink, blink, blind. That didn't hurt my feelings. Um, and it's, but it's just, this ideology is so cancerous to society. But the, the good news is it can't, it's not going to last long because there's no way, this has really been coming on the last str strong the last few years in particular, and it's gonna burn itself out. But these colleges have become a net negative to society that teach this crap to our kids. And I won't send my kid to a college that is ever gonna teach my, and it's only gonna, well, hopefully it starts to get better. There is so much of this intersectionality, woke PC bullshit out there that it's just, it's destroying our society. But luckily, it's not gonna continue. And that is why I like, that's one of the things I really love about Donald Trump. He gives a big boop boop to the woke community and to the PC community. Free, or speech will always be free here in America. If you don't like it, there's plenty of other places that will take you. But it's kind of funny because there's not a lot of other places that will take you. We are actually the only place that put, would put up with you. You, you, you simultaneously these people believe in communism and this this hardcore socialism and, and essentially commu communism right where everyone's the same do you think in those countries over in china you can say what you think shit you couldn't even say what you wanted to say about this coronavirus if you had in, insider information on it without the police coming to your door and telling you you could be thrown in jail for seven years but you are going to try to tell me that that is a, that's the utopia you think you're looking for and that everybody has to watch their speech as long as their speech is your speech. That's what you think. You think as long as their speech is our speech, we're okay. Well, guess what? Governments and, and people who, who are living the real world and run the real world will never and do uh, – will never – uh, don't agree with that kind of ideology. So it's – there's such a uh, conundrum within your philosophy – you got to watch what you say. You can't offend anybody, but we should all be the same. We should all be the same and we should, you, you should be, you have to be forced into language and speech. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. Without fear or animus, it's SJG drive time with Steven. Just some random thoughts. Tune in tonight uh, or keep an eye out on the notifications tonight and uh, go to one of my videos and uh, not this one because I don't have a chance to put a description in. Um, I'm just going to, put this one up but um or it might go in yeah probably will go in on this one anyways if not go to one of my older videos uh, other videos and, and join my discord page discord join my discord page i'd love to have you guys over there it's sjg perspective without fear and animus we'll talk to you later bye